Hello and welcome to this video titled Introduction to SAP. In this video I will be talking about the origins of SAP, the founders and so on, the problems that the software hopes to solve and a little bit about the companies that actually use the software in their daily business. So let's get started. In 1972, which actually sounds like a long time ago, five Germans got together. They were former employees of IBM. Their names are, first we have Hector Karlsruhe, Dietmar Hopp, Klaus Wehrenhäuter, I don't have a picture for him, Klaus Chira, and Hasso Plattner. So these guys got together and they wanted to start up a company that solved real world issues. So then they had an idea. So they had an idea. They wanted to develop software that processed data in real time and not using overnight jobs like programs did in those days. They also wanted software that could act as homogeneous as a homogeneous unit across different locations. And then SAP was born. After about more than 30 years in existence, SAP has become the third largest distributor of business software. They offer a range of solutions that are modeled after business processes in a lot of industries. I will go into a little bit more depth into the solutions later. So let's take a look at um, a snapshot of the companies that um, implement SAP solutions. I'm sure you can recognize a lot of companies in the, in the list. You have Samsung, Adobe, American Express, Nokia, Sony, Apple, Chevron, Nike, BMW, and there are many more. This is just a snapshot. As of 2008, SAP had about 41,000 customers in about 121 countries. So you can see the potential in getting a job wherever you are. It is truly a global corporation. And apart from getting very good salary packages, you also have the opportunity to work with the cream of the crop, so to say. Next, I shall explain the software solutions that SAP offers and why positioning yourself in business intelligence is a very good choice. SAP has got a family of products that help to optimize business processes. The main goal of SAP Software Solutions is to make a company more efficient, more productive, and in turn help the company to be more competitive in the marketplace. The core offering of SAP is called SAP ERP. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. ERP is used to plan a company's resources, be it humans or products. There are a lot of solutions within SAP ERP. One example being SAP Sales and Distribution and another being SAP Financial. Around the core of SAP ERP, there are other offerings that complement the ERP package. One example being SAP CRM, which is Customer Relationship Management. Another is Supply Chain Management, which is called SAP SCM. This is just a snapshot of the solutions that SAP offers. The software solutions are built on a core technology base called SAP NetWeaver. SAP NetWeaver is the behind the scenes component that ties SAP ERP together. It consists of technologies like the databases, web servers, and so on. One of the core components of SAP NetWeaver is SAP Business Intelligence. This is the component that we are interested in. SAP BI helps companies to have a general overview of their resources and will help them go back in time and see performance metrics and so on. This helps companies make intelligent and well-informed decisions. So this is the end of our introduction to SAP. I shall go in depth into the components of SAP Business Intelligence, which will complete our overview and prepare you for the detailed information that will come later. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.